We went to watch a film from Hendon Hall. From, we walked to Hendon Central. We saw a film called Those Magnificent Men in Their Flying Machines. The 22-man squad, plus the staff, walked all the way there, sat through the film, got an ice cream at, at half-time at the intermission, walked all the way back, and there was not one cameraman, an autograph asked for, during all the way there and all the way back. Can you just imagine that happening today? You'd, you may be able to do it, but you need about 15 bodyguards. Nobody said we would win the World Cup, but I think we knew that we were a very, very difficult team to beat. We had tremendous characters, character in the team, a uh, great manager, and really it was one thing, I think many other teams with a, a great German team scoring, the, the draw, the equaliser, many teams could probably have crumbled. The momentum was, was with Germany, but because of the strength of the team and, and the strength of the character of the team, very quickly we, we brushed it off. And Alf Ramsey said something you asked about Alf Ramsey earlier, and one thing he said which was sticking in my mind forever, the importance of what a manager can say in the short time you have. Um, he said a couple of things. Players were sitting down after the whistle went for normal time, and um, including Bobby Moore, and Alf said, get up, nobody sits down. You don't want to show the German team that you're tired, so all stand up. And then the thing that stuck in my mind was what he said. He said, you've beaten the Germans once, go and beat them again. And of course we did, and on the day I think we, I think some of the German players said we were the better team on the day. But coming back from that was really not a major issue because we were such a strong team. I would tell FIFA and everybody connected with world football, the ball was at least one metre over the line. Full stop. I think on a serious answer, I think it's, you, when you're playing in the game, uh, I've just got in the team, replaced Jimmy Greaves. You're 2 2 against a fantastic and brilliant German team, uh, as of many German teams. Uh, I hit the ball on the half turn and fell over, so I had a very poor view. And the ball actually went a, a bounced behind Tilkowski, so f with my view, and the ball come, I didn't see it. But you want to believe when you're 24 years of age, replaced Jimmy Greaves. You're 2 2 against Germany, you want to believe more than your life's worth at the ball across the line. And so that belief has been strongly with me today. And my teammate Roger Hunt, I've always gone on that. He, he could have, for me, put it in. He wheeled away and turned away and shouted it's a goal. And that has stood with me as well for, for many years that he felt it uh, had gone over the line. Instinctively, if you're a great striker, you attempt to put, you attempt to put it in, put his arm up, you look at the film and, and, and shouted it's a goal. And that's good enough for me. The honest answer is, uh, and talking about remembering things very, very clear, uh, uh, as I got to the edge of the penalty area, I'm thinking the game is now nearly over. I'm going to hit this ball with everything I've got left in my left foot. And I'm thinking all this, as I, if it goes beyond the bar, beyond the sand, into the crowd, by the time the ball boy gets it back to Tilkowski, by the time he kicks it down the field, the surely the goodness, the game has got to be over. But as you all know, I miss hit it and it flew in. Very good question. Um, if my wife doesn't see this interview, I would say the World Cup. But bearing in mind, she will probably at least some, some, either see the interview or be told the interview by somebody. There's three people in this room already. Um, so I'm definitely going to say, <laughs> as I'm, my, and my wife will get to find out, and uh, that your wedding day. A serious answer is the, your family, your family and the close family are are always, over the years, are, are always going to be a, a stronger influence and, uh, than, than just your short career in football. Your short career in football with England, for me, was six years, whereas I've been married next year, 50 years. So, uh, and I, d I don't get another 25 years of grief. <laughs>